Good morning, second grade. Today we're going to read The Great Eggscape by Jory John and Pete Oswald. I know for my class we've also read The Good Egg, so my class you guys can do a compare and contrast chart in your notebook and compare and contrast The Good Egg to The Great Eggscape. All right, let's get started. Howdy, I'm Shell. An egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs? Where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the great escape. Escape, escape, <laughs> you get it. Me, I'm not really in the mood to run around. If you want to know the truth, I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there's a part of me that wonders what they're doing right this very moment. I have a few guesses. Right this very moment, wee, yay, ah! We look amazing, so festive. Let's play a game. Everybody pick a good hiding spot. Great idea, Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending in with the potatoes. Ha 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 What's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. Ah, uh, this is the life. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later, hmm, nobody's back yet. Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelly and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyway, they should have been home by now. These great escapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. Hmm. I'll wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. Bong! Noon! It's noon? Morning is officially over. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do! What do you think they're gonna do? What's he gonna do? Meanwhile, he he he, he 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 he. You see the eggs? They're hiding in all the different things in the grocery store. See if you can spot them. I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one. That seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all pickles. Sheesh. Wait, Greg, is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up eggs. Let's see. We have you and 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 you. That's 10 eggs plus me, which equals 11. Hmm. Wait just a minute. Where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg! Wait. Where are you guys going? To get some lunch, Shell, then maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs halt. As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together. Got it? Good. Let's go. How, what did the other eggs think about that? Do they look very happy? Yes, Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelf. Sheldon, 
Look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle five. Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me, I'll scour the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are cold in bulk, are sold in bulk, and look for something bold. It was a clue, Shell. I mean, it is a clue. Indeed, Greg, indeed. Hmm, bulk, bold. Bulk? Bold? Bulk? Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, eggs, to the bulk bin aisle. Onward! Wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? Um, Shell, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think is Meg is hiding in there? Of course! Peg, of course! Eggs, shoulder stack, unite! Knock, knock. We know you're in there, Meg. Oh, hi. I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we're back together again. Whew. You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. But the most fun of all? A chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when it's the next great escape, shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, shall. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Definitely look for more stories to come in the next several days from the other second grade teachers. We hope you guys had a good time. And so, remember, my class, do a good compare and contrast chart between the great egg scape and the good egg in your notebook.